Allow me to show you something. having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. If you've been with the channel for a while, you guys know that I took European delivery of this E63 AMG, meaning I actually went to the factory where it was made, collected the car and got to drive it for about a week in Germany. Unfortunately, the weather didn't permit me to do some of the things that I was hoping to do namely topping the car out on the Autobahn. Life goal of mine, but today I think we found a place where we can make it happen. Well, before we head out to the lake bed, I've gotta extend a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Dollar Shave Club. Now you guys have pointed out that it doesn't look like I shave all that often, but actually after I hop out of the shower, brush my teeth, I shave my neck every single day. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club shave butter, I don't have any of those stupid razor burns anymore. It is seriously time to try Dollar Shave Club, guys, and I bet you didn't know that they do more than just razors. And for a very limited time offering, they're actually giving away their essential starter kit to new members for just $5. Yeah, that's right, $5, and that includes free shipping. In your first box, you'll receive their executive razor, which includes a premium weighty handle. You get four cartridges, three trial size versions of their most popular products, including their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe charlies. This offer is available exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash VV. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash VV. Seriously guys, you're losing money by not signing up. Link in the description below, let's have some fun. Headed over to meet up with Alex, James, and Malcolm. It's so funny, the three different cars that are coming. So we're bringing the E63 with the goal of hitting its maximum top speed. Stock, this car does 190. I know it's drag limited, so with an extra 140 horsepower, is 200 miles an hour possible? I have no freaking idea. But we're also bringing the Raptor. Alex wants to go off-roading in his new truck. Then we're also taking a Tesla Model 3 and seeing how fast that electric car goes. is really the only one of us that's super into trucks. He owns this bad boy right there. And I feel like it had a large part in all of our interests in trucks. When you're around people that like something else, we went off-roading at nighttime, had the most fun ever. I've never been introduced to that before. Then all of a sudden I want a Raptor. Alex decides to buy a Raptor and now we're gonna go off-road these things. <laughs> Purchase a day pass, and then look at this. We got the Model Three right ahead of us. How's it going? Guys? Don't worry. Good. Hey guys. Howdy. is 190 miles an hour, which is drag limited. That's the stock version with 603 horsepower. So with 740, I don't know, I'm hoping that I can hit 190 miles an hour legally in the 
middle of nowhere. I just found out since I hadn't been outside the car yet today on this lake bed that it is extremely windy in this direction. The current plan was I've ran back and forth a bunch of times to make sure this is safe. I've got markers everywhere. The plan was to run it in that direction, but now I found out that's directly into the headwind. So we should be able to get a much higher acceleration run that way, which I found out via Koenigsegg when they set the world record attempt, you actually have to do it in both directions and it's an average of the two to make it legitimate because if it was 60 mile an hour wind going this way, the Koenigsegg record was 277 miles an hour, but one of the directions was significantly faster than that and one was significantly slower. We're not hitting 277, but I am having a blast. Well guys, this is about to happen. If you're wondering who the heck this is, this is actually Ethan, one of my college roommates at University of Michigan. So this is a hilarious video for you to be a part of. He's visiting, doing some business deals, and I was like, yeah, you wanna just come along to a lake bed? And I don't really know where it is or what we're doing. And he's like, sure, and now we're gonna try to go 200 miles an hour. So <laughs> we've got it all set up, done a ton of practice runs back and forth. The good news is on the lake bed, you can actually see my tire tracks, so I know exactly where I'm going to be going. That being said, it's still incredibly nerve wracking because we are on dirt and not on pavement and it's pretty windy and this is this is an interesting idea so we're about to send it now granted it is hot that was 100 so the performance is a little bit worse 140 because the car uh, knows that it's on dirt instead of cement, it's a little bit confused with what's going on. Uh, for safety reasons, I've got traction control on a slightly reduced setting, but I don't want to turn it all the way off just in case the car spins and you hit a bump or something like that. And obviously uh, at 180, stuff can go wrong pretty fast, but let's run it in this direction. Got markers set up so we know exactly where to go. I do have to say, shout out Stradman for reminding me of the dry lake bed idea. I watched his video where he tried it in the R8. I forget what he actually reached. My window is making noise, even though it's shut. That is crazy. There's the drone, 170. 175. farther than my run out and hit that bump pretty fast. Regardless, that was a heck of a lot of fun. I feel like with a little bit longer stint on a cooler day, I think honestly, mostly it's the heat. It's 100 degrees right now. It's really fighting for air and with all the wind at high speeds and the little bit of traction limit, the fact that it was able to go 184 and the top speed's 190, I call that an absolute win. Now it's time to go see what my off-road buddies are doing because they've already gotten stuck twice. So <laughs> I can't wait to experience what that's about. The Tesla 
Model 3 that I just reviewed is here and they're about to rip donuts in the middle of the desert. I know the Model 3 being an all electric car, good for the environment, the family car, it's the cheaper version of the Tesla Model S, isn't exactly designed for this, but that's what makes this so bad. something that's very interesting. I'm actually not sure if my car has a governor on it. Yes, it's tuned, but I gotta talk to VF. I don't know if they took the limiter off, and I realized that the exact speed that I hit, 185, 186 miles an hour, is 300 kph. And it's very possible that because it did feel like it hit a brick wall, that 186 miles an hour was the limiter and it could go faster. So we'll see, I'll talk to VF, we'll see if we can raise that limiter. It's also possible that's just as fast as the car could have gone. But those numbers seem shockingly coincidental. So here we go from top speed runs to off-roading to all of a sudden playing soccer in the middle of the desert. The only problem is once the ball starts rolling, the wind just blows it forever, literally. No, I am not coming down. We have loaded up both trucks, the Raptor and the Chevy, and we're about to go actual off-roading. You guys said this is crazy earlier? Yeah, this like is just the gonna, most fun gonna, ever. Uh, what mode are you rocking in? We're gonna go Baja in the beginning. We're gonna Baja. Everything in the back is secured, right? Uh, yes. Oh, that ladder. Uh, we'll find, find out. out. Well, yeah, the ladder. The ladder, yeah, yeah, everything's fine now, minus the ladder and the cooler yeah. and everything. So there's well, the like a wild drop over here or something. Really? So watch it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is dope. This would not be good in my Mercedes. Yep, good. <laughs> Yo, how's that cooler? It's pretty cool, cool. back there. <laughs> I just hear some sounds. Oh, that's the ladder. It's the ladder. <laughs> oh, good, that's much better. We should have left the ladder with my car. Yeah. That's no, right. but what if somebody steals the ladder? I always go out here in the desert just to see if anyone's left like a ladder. Dude, people always fucking look at this guy. It's like preservation here. officer. That looks like some serious business. Dude, this floats over bumps. Yeah, those are severe. Yeah, and none of that was jarring. No, okay, no, no. I, 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 freaking, I freaking love the Raptor. Oh, dude, Malcolm's truck is just like it's one dead. giant oh, like death horrible. fest. <laughs> dude, it's so metal. It's so bad. Yeah, he just got in the back and he just became a human. Dude, I saw him. Wow, fly. he was like, what the. And oh, what? See, like, what? Oh. We're practically getting air. Oh, yes, I love this thing. <laughs> the best part is you could probably hit this stuff at like 50. He's like, challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Way? Oh. Dude, the faster you go, the smoother. I know. All right. Cooler time. <laughs> oh, my God. Cooler down. Yeah, just like right. If somebody steals it, worst comes to worst, we lost like 40 bucks. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think it's worth it. Dude, I'm just not used to like sending it over rocks this large. Me neither. They're just like giant neither, tire popping I've front bumper so death. Much today. Yeah. I can see where Helen's been. I can see that Helen went that way. That's insane. You think so? You could easily oh, do it. Tracks. No, yeah, yeah. And it's not. And it's not too that long bad. either. Yeah, so, so you can just like turn walk around up right, right here too. Yeah. Or you can just walk to the top, yeah. That's not my camera, so let's just leave it. All right, boys. We're sending it up go. this hill. Oh boy, dude, this is sick. Oh my god. Actually, hold on. why am I doing this? I'm just gonna see. Just don't go too far to the right. Yo, because there's a drop off to the right. Yo, uh, can you see? Yes. Look. Oh, yeah, the front yeah, camera. camera. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we can go this way. Oh god. Oh, oh. Don't worry. Yeah, you're chilling. This is 
terrifying. Really? Really? Yeah, angle just from the here, angle, dude. Yeah, the oh, angle on this angle side is severe. Is oh. It looks like we are gonna roll. And if we do, oh, I can. I just, at all. I just literally yeah. see my head smashing the windshield. This is tight. We're just literally climbing. We're just the literally summiting rocks. We paid fifteen dollars to do this. Yeah. yeah what? No, this is. This is. Wow. This is a. We like go to the top, and on the other end, it's like a fifty-foot cliff, and, and like Malcolm's trucks on the other side. You good, bro? Yeah, I don't know where we're going. I doubt this is a road. Yeah, I gotta say, no matter what form of off-roading you're doing, whether it's drifting in a Mercedes S-Class or hitting top speed in an E63 or summoning the craziest rocks in a Raptor, this is this is so much fun, dude. You know it's crazy. Like Malcolm had the craziest truck. And then all of a sudden you got this and he's like, yeah, I gotta go slower than the Raptor and like all this stuff. Even though you're, you like just got this thing. Yeah, but it's <laughs> so all of a sudden you're just like way more capable. Get out the way. <laughs> the look on his face, that was awesome. Damn, that was fun. Well guys, I think it's time to turn the camera off and just have some personal time with my buddies. This has been an absolutely incredible day. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any epic videos coming your way. 185 miles an hour in the Mercedes S-Class, doing some drifts. I love drifting in the dirt. It is just so much fun. and feels so natural in that car in rear wheel drive mode. And then doing some raptoring. It's a blast. As always, I look forward to seeing you next video.